Welcome back. This is part two about chain governance in West Java. Dear Juni, how is the milk chain organized? Um, this start, this uh, value chain started from the dairy farmers, of course, and then these dairy farmers they organize into group, and then they will sell the milk to the dairy cooperative or to the private company, and then this private company and this dairy cooperative will collect the milk, they will check the milk quality, and then they will send this milk to the milk processing companies. And um, this the main actor is the small smallholder farmers, of course, because they are supplying the milk, but there is also the dairy cooperative and the, the private company who link, who connect the farmers to the milk processing companies. And if you look at these actors, which actors are the most powerful in the whole chain? I think the most powerful actor is the milk processing companies because they are the actor who decides the price of the milk, who decide the standards of the milk quality. So I think the most powerful is the milk processing companies. And how is the relationship between farmers, milk collectors, and milk processors, and how do that relate? Does that relate to the uh, purpose of your study, or the, let's say the reason for your study? I think the relationship between dairy farmers and the dairy processing companies is organized by the dairy cooperatives because the farmers cannot come directly to the milk processing companies. Milk processing companies will not accept the milk individually because they want milk in the large uh, amounts of milk. So that's why this cooperative, they organize the farmers and then they sell the milk to the milk processing companies and then these milk processing companies will only accept the milk based on the quality. So the farmers also have to work together with their groups to get a good quality of milk because they will get pay based on this milk quality. So in your study you had three types of milk collectors. You had the large cooperatives, the small cooperatives and the private companies. And what are the volumes of milk these three organizations are handling on a daily basis? Uh, in West Bandung district Every day, they collect around 180 tons of milk, and then 150 tons. So I think it's around 90 percent, or yeah, 90 percent of this milk uh, uh, supplied by the large cooperative. And the small cooperative, they collect from the farmers around 10 tons of milk per day, and then this small company small private company they collect five tons of milk per day and the rest is from the others milk collectors in your study you you handle you you were dealing about the issue of governance yes uh, what is chain governance for you and how did you define it uh, what which criteria did you use in your study to define chain governance uh, chain governance is something like uh, the systems, how these chains are working, and then how they are collaborating each other, and then one of parts, one of the dimensions that I use is the activities, and also about the memberships because this large cooperative, this small cooperative, and this private cooperative, this private company, they have their farmers, and then the governance, and then the regulations, and then for the regulations because of they are working with the milk processing companies and these milk processing companies require milk quality standards. So they have some standards for the farmers before they're col collecting the milk to the farmers. Farmers should uh, meet the requirement that the milk processing company wants. And then it's about the uh, coordination also. This large cooperative, uh, only the coordination between this large, this cooperative and this private company with the farmers is only based on the trust. So they don't have a legal contract with the farmers. But with the milk processing companies, they have legal contracts. 
so they have to sign the contract and then this processing companies have some uh, requirements about the milk quality to the farmers to the uh, milk processing companies to the uh, cooperative so the cooperative have to meet the requirements uh, asked by the milk processing companies now if you look at the whole milk value chain eh? Wh what do you see as a strength of course the coordinations it should be maintained it the the coordinations the governance it should be there because the cooperative needs the dairy farmers the dairy farmers needs the cooperative and then also the processing company needs the cooperative and the dairy farmers so i think they have to maintain their coordination and then their relationships they have to strengthen their relationship especially the dairy farmers with the cooperative they should have a legal contract with 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 them each other and then also the dairy cooperative with the milk processing company they can do collaboration more it's not only about marketing the milk it can be also servicing more service to the farmers and then also to the cooperative who should take the lead in this process i think the cooperative should take the leads because he is uh, they, are, they are the actors who really influence these two actors they are in the middle so this large cooperative should strengthen the relationships so strengthen the coordinations also should uh, make the regulations strictly because sometimes because of the coordination based on the trust sometimes the farmers still have uh, uh, un uh, still there are still many unharnessed farmers they found it there and then s also especially with the uh, dairy processing companies this uh, large cooperative if they strengthen the farmers they will get a better milk quality and then they will have a better uh, bargaining power to to these uh, processing companies and then they will get a better price to the farmers are there any other recommendations that you have based on your study um, yes because my study is related to the milk quality so I recommend this uh, dairy cooperative to provide more land to the farmers because there is still a problem with the forest unavailability especially in the dry seasons I would I would suggest the this uh, dairy cooperative not only provides a uh, bonus of on the milk to the farmers but they can also give uh, a, uh, give a, a presence to the farmers in the end of the year based on their milk performance something